Tomorrow temperatures made it up to about 70 degrees in Boston today, and we're going to better that number by about 10 at least in most areas tomorrow. Right now, 56 in town, 57 in Bedford, 55 in Norwood. Temperatures have a little room to back off overnight tonight. The dew points are starting to creep back up, so I'm not expecting them to drop really back into the 40s. Again, there might be one or two 49 degree readings out there, but most of us should stay close to that 50 degree mark uh, through the course of tonight. I want you to look off to the west of town right now. We have a little batch of cloud cover that's moving across the lakes. Uh, some showers, some thunder showers. Actually, this is all moving in this direction, almost due east. So Rutland, Vermont, north of Manchester on up into the lakes region. You may see a shower or a thunder shower over the course of tonight, but around the Boston area, we should stay mostly dry and mostly clear as well. There's a warm front right here to the south of that warm front. You would expect warmer air and oh, is it warm out there? Another cold front back here. Keep your eye on that because that is going to be moving in our direction as well. Not before we get this though. These are your current temperatures 70 in Detroit, 75 Columbus, Louisville, Kentucky at 79 right now. We still have those 50s out there, but by tomorrow night, we're probably going to be in the 60s for nighttime lows. A couple 50s in there as well. So 80s on tap for tomorrow as that warm front slides on through. We've got a lot of sunshine. The front comes through with very little fanfare. And then we watch that cold front that was off to the west. It comes very close to New England or uh, central and southern New England over the course on Sunday. I think this front actually stays just far enough to the north where most of us will spike a fever up to about 80 or so. And then the front has a chance to come through late in the evening, cause our temperatures to back off quite a bit. So if you're doing a little grilling up on the North Shore, the Boston area, all of a sudden you'll be like, wow, it just got cold all of a sudden. It's that backdoor cold front. That front slips south and then back northward during the day on Monday. So temperatures, while they start off cool on Monday, I think we get another surge of the warmer air, sending temperatures back up to near 80 degrees. So each day is going to have its own unique features, although on the five day, they're going to look very similar, at least from a numbers standpoint. There are your record highs for Boston and Worcester, 83 and 85 for both locations. Saturday and Sunday, respectively. And I think tomorrow we're going to come uh, very close to those numbers. 81 for Boston and Worcester. Cooler down to the south coast, the Cape and the Islands. You folks will be stuck in the 60s and 70s, unfortunately, because that wind is going to be coming in at times off the water, and the water temperatures are still in the 40s. So there you go. Lots of 80s. But again, note late in the day on Sunday, temperatures may take a nosedive and we start out kind of cool on Monday, but we're right back up to near 80 degrees, except cooler at the beaches. Next front comes through and cools us off entirely as we head into Tuesday night and Wednesday. I'll have more in your weather coming up tonight at 11. Okay, Jay, updating that breaking news at Logan Airport. Now a Delta flight headed for JFK to